The accused Seminole Heights killer spree starting one year ago today and all new at six ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers takes a look at the long lasting changes because of that one month of terror. Memorials like this one for Monica Hoffa have become a permanent part of Seminole Heights, but so have many safety improvements. We weren't going on walks even then, you know. No dog walks, a sundown curfew, terror and uncertainty for homeowners one year ago when a serial shooter took aim in Southeast Seminole Heights. I think that we're more connected and that we we have each other's numbers. Now Tracy Morgan says there are more conversations among neighbors and more cameras keeping watch too. It's a small expense to have comfort and you know, peace of mind. Businesses got back on their feet, but Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan says the vigilance of last fall is still here. If anything, maybe it's brought some people to be more aware of what's going on, and if they see something, they say something. Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Niboa, and Ronnie Felton have been gone for a year, but this Tampa neighborhood turned those wounds into calluses. Sad for those who lost their lives, and then sad that, you know, you don't want your life to change as drastically as it did because someone is terrorizing you. In Southeast Seminole Heights, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.